Alfa Romeo Racing is one tough independent squad. The Italian mark rebranding Sauber, Switzerland's intrepid privateer team that has put two cars on the grid since 1993. The rebrand the brainchild of the late Sergio Marchione, former Ferrari chairman and Fiat Chrysler CEO, who wanted to return the allure to Alfa Romeo, F1's original world champion. I've been waiting to see this for a long, long time. Uh, and to be able to see that on a car, to be able to see an Alfa Red on the thing, to see the support of the FCA team and the, the Ferrari in bringing this back is a big, big deal. I realize that maybe the outside world, it's not, to me, it's a big bloody deal. So I, yes. look, let's do it, let's do it right. 2018 saw Alfa Romeo join Sauber as its title partner, with Ferrari's former chief designer Simone Resta switching over before the name change for 2019 and more Scuderia talent moving in. 2007 F1 world champion Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi behind the wheel. All of it reportedly likely to lead to a full Sauber takeover. But a change of plans could be in the air, with the prancing horse looking to reel Resta back in. With FCA stalling on acquiring more Sauber shares, Alfa Romeo sails down across its various markets. And FCA's proposed 50-50 merger with Renault not going ahead, despite its attractiveness to the French mark. Regardless of a potential change in direction, the underlying outfit is rock solid, under the management of racing gun Frederick Vasseur. Our goal is to build up in one end a, a strong Formula One team based on the strong company with good resources and uh, I think the facility already is huge. In the meantime, Alfa Romeo has its head down, with F1 having done its first of nine races in six weeks, an incredibly intense period that will have a huge effect on whether it achieves its 2019 target. To improve on the incredible growth shown last season. The team did a good job, not only on the winter, but all over the season, on every single department of the company. And if we can do the same, for sure we have to start the season a bit higher than last year. And if we can have the same ramp up during the season, it will be perfect. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.